Hello, this video is going to show how we can perform object code verification using Texas Instruments Code Composer Studio and a TMS 570. So connected to my laptop at the moment, I have a TMS 570 launch pad. Now, if we take a look at the DO178C standard, what it says is that we need to perform object code verification. And it says that not only do we need to perform structural coverage for the source code, but it's also important to, if you're working with DAO level A, to ensure that the compiler and linker has not actually generated any additional code that can't be traced back to source code statements or to requirements. So let's take a look and see how we can perform this. Now, the starting point is Code Composer Studio. Inside Code Composer Studio, I've created, first of all, a project using the Halcogen, from which I've generated a number of source files. I've then compiled those into a library that I've then included into the project that I want to, to test. And inside this particular project, I have a number of source files, and it's this one that I'm particularly interested in, and I want to start testing this particular file. I want to ensure that I've got 100% structural coverage for the functions in this file. So to do that, I'm going to start TB run. And inside TB run, I've created a sequence of test cases for all the functions inside this file. And for each of these particular functions, I've specified a number of inputs and expected outputs. So what I want to be able to do is execute this on the target and find out, well, how much of the code have we exercised and also check that the tests have passed. So in this case, we've generated a harness, we've built it using the ARM compiler, we've downloaded it to the target, that's now executed on the target, we've analysed the results and as we can see, the tests have passed. And that says, well, with these inputs, we got the outputs that we specified here. So now we can take a look at the coverage and there we can see clearly that we have 100% statement coverage, 100% branch decision coverage and 100% MCDC on the, the C code. But what about the underlying object code or assembler code? Well, let's put it into a different mode. And in this particular case, we're going to ask the compiler to generate the assembler code. We're then going to instrument that assembler code we're then going to execute the tests using the instrumented assembler code. And as the tests execute, we're going to be able to capture the results and also the coverage. So just as before, we've built it, we've downloaded it to the TMS 570. We're now executing on the target. We're getting the results back and we're now analysing those results. And we can see that the tests have passed. So once again, with the inputs that we specified, we've made sure we're still getting the expected outputs. But now let's take a look and see what coverage we obtained on the assembler code. So let's view the dynamic coverage analysis report. And in this particular case, we can see we have a pass. So we've executed this not on the .c file, but this time on the generated assembler file. And we have 100% statement coverage and 100% branch decision coverage. And of course, there is no MCDC on the assembler code. If we scroll down, we're able to see we have 100% coverage for the integer to ASCII function and also for the display value. Well, let's go into the integer to ASCII function and we'll scroll down. We can see here we have all the assembler statements and we can see very clearly whether we've executed them or not. In this particular case, we've executed every statement, proving that we effectively the compiler and linker has not generated any additional code that can't be traced back to uh, original source code or requirements. So similarly, we've all we can also see here we've executed every branch inside the code. OK, so hopefully that short video has given you an idea of how we can perform object code verification using Texas Instruments Code Composer Studio and the TMS 570. And if you'd like more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at LDRA. Thank you.